may have heard that at their core, computers function because of ones and zeros, also known as binary. This is true, but how exactly does the binary make the computer work? In this video, I will show how by showing how the computer does basic arithmetic. For starters, here's the truth about binary. It is a number system, like the decimal system we use every day. The major difference between decimal and binary is that decimal has 10 possible values for a digit, but binary has only two. These two values are 0 and 1, and they can represent any number, albeit with much more digits than decimal. For example, 0 is 0, 1 is 1, 2 is 1, 0, 3 is 1, 1, 4 is 1, 0, 0, 5 is 1, 0, 1, etc. Each 1 or 0 is called a bit. Computers use the binary system since they work based on the presence or absence of a high electric current. So larger number systems like decimal can be quite clunky to work with at that level. There are four basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Arithmetic with binary is quite similar to the everyday maths we do with decimal. In fact, it is even easier given that there are less values to memorize than normal. Binary addition is the easiest of them all. For example, take 6 and 3. In binary, those are 110 and 11, respectively. 0 plus 1 equals 1. We move left. 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0, so we write down 0 and carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 equals 1, 0, which we write at the left. The resulting number is 1, 0, 0, 1, which in decimal is 9, the correct answer. Binary subtraction also works like its decimal counterpart. We will still use 6 and 3, or 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 in binary. Since 0 minus 1 isn't really possible, we borrow from the left so that the answer becomes 1. Now normally, 1 minus 1 equals 0, but since we borrowed from it, it effectively becomes 0 minus 1. We then do the same thing and borrow from the left. Now, 1 minus 1 minus 0 equals 0. The result is 0, 1, 1 or 3 in decimal. However, there's another method in subtracting in binary, 2's complement. It works basically like adding a negative number in decimal. To find the 2's complement, change all 1's to zeros and zeros to 1's, then add 1 to the result. First, find the 2's complement of the second number. The 2's complement of 0, 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0, plus 1 equals 101. We then add 101 to 110. 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 10. The result is 1011. But the initial 1 is omitted from the final result, giving the same answer of 011. In fact, 2's complement is how computers actually implement binary subtraction. Binary multiplication works just like normal. It is even simpler because there are only two major rules. If the bit being multiplied to is 0, then return 0. If the bit is 1, then copy the multiplicand. Then rinse and repeat, each time shifting the answer to the left. Finally, add the results. Let's still use 110 one, and 11. One, one. 110 times 1 equals 110, then 110 times 1 equals 110. Then we add the 2. 0 plus 0 equals 0, 1 plus 0 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 0 carry 1, and 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 10. The result is 10010. In decimal, this is 18, which is the result of 6 times 3. Finally, there is binary division. One can do this with long division. 
Let's divide 110 by 11. We first find the part which allows itself and the preceding digits to divide by 11, which is the second digit. Then, write 1 at the top. Next, multiply the 1 by the divisor which returns 1, 1. Subtract the previous digits of the de dividend by the result of the previous operation. In this case, it's 0. The next digit 0 is dropped down. Since the 0 divided by 1, 1 is meaningless and there are no further bits, we get quotient 1, 0 with remainder 0. In decimal, this is 2. Exactly the result of 6 over 3. Computers implement these arithmetic algorithms via logic gate combos. For example, binary addition is done by a string of half adders and full adders consisting of AND, OR, and XOR gates. Of course, there's more to computing than just basic arithmetic. There's also the problems of receiving input from the user and displaying a meaningful output. Plus, there's more to the computer than just the arithmetic logic unit portion of the CPU where the arithmetic is done. For instance, there's the rest of the CPU, the memory, the hard drive, the graphics processing unit, input and output devices, etc. But knowing how computers do basic math is a stepping stone to understanding how a computer functions. Thanks for watching.